okay guys so in this video i will discuss about based on different type of connection and different type of forces how you have to arrange your column base or how you have to develop your column base okay so before starting the video if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to join the channel to show your support and love so let's first understand how different type of loads are transferred to your foundation through a column base arrangement okay so this picture is sufficient to elaborate each and every forces so first consider the compressive force so here this is the compressive force and if you apply this compressive force what will happen this will travel to the column and from this column you can see here this is the base plate so from this column steel column this compressive force is distributed to this base plate and then this this base plate is subjected to your uniformly distributed load which is placed over your concrete foundation so definitely due to this uniformly distributed load your reaction force will also be something like this as you can see here in this picture so this is the bearing stresses generated in the footing due to your compressive force if we only consider the compressive force right now come to second type of force which is that that is definitely in many cases your column will be subjected to moment also and if this is the moment applied on a column okay so how you can transfer this moment so if this is the axis of the column i can say just uh, like the beam if this is the beam this is the support and if you apply a moment here what will happen yes you know that this moment is converted into a push and a pull that means a tensile force and a compressive force what is the value of this tensile force or compressive force simply the moment divided by the depth of this column or beam right so this moment has been converted into a compressive force and a tensile force and now you know already how the compressive force is transferred yes this is directly transferred to the foundation through the action of bearing right but what about this tensile force this tensile force try to uplift this column flange or detach this try to detach this column flange from the foundation so what you have to do you have to keep this column flange in place for that you have to put anchor bolt okay you have to put a anchor bolt here so now this tensile force that is coming into this flange it is transferred to this anchor bolt right now this tensile force is transferred to this anchor bolt and this tensile force is now trying to pull out this anchor bolt that is why at the end you have to put a head or nut type thing right okay now the last type of force okay so you have understood how this compressive force and tensile force or the moment is transferred now what about a bracing connection let's say you have a frame like this right and also you have a bracing like this so in this bracing foundation how you will transfer the compressive force or tensile force tensile force is okay but in addition to this compressive force and tensile force you will have a horizontal force because the component if you uh, resolve this compressive or axial force you will have a vertical component and a horizontal component now in this arrangement you will have a horizontal force right so how you will transfer that horizontal force so to transfer this horizontal force the best solution is just put a shear lug here okay make a shear lug here. so once this horizontal force is applied this lug will take care or it will apply the same amount of force to the concrete foundation 
and the whole system will be in place this is the use of shear law now first design your uh, column base for only compression force so you know due to the compressive force only you will have only bearing right so if this is the column this is the compressive force you will only have uniformly distributed bearing force and you can transfer this easily through base plate to your concrete foundation so in this case it is not necessary to place the bolting arrangement outside the flange so this is the flanges of the column here you can see the bolting arrangement has been provided inside this column flange why because in this case just consider the moment connection so if this was the moment connection right and this was the moment so to keep this flange attached to the flange of the column what you had to do you had to connect the flange for that you place some bolting outside the flange system through end plate but in this case there is no such moment so there is no question of keeping attached this column flange with the beam flange right but in this case this is base plate and column flange connection so there is no question to keep them in place so that is why we have placed the anchor bolt in between the flanges okay now in addition to the compression if there is moment also yes in that case you cannot put the anchor bolts inside here here you cannot put them why because you have to transfer the tensile force also that is coming due to this moment right so to transfer this tensile force from flange to the anchor bolt what you have to do you have to put this anchor bolt outside the column flange in this case here in the plan view you can see in each and every case in both the cases we have put the anchor bolt outside the flange the reason is now clear to you the last case that is compression and the shear case where yes definitely this is valid for the bracing connection so in bracing connection in addition to the compressive force you will also have a shear force right why the axial force is resolved into a vertical compressive force and horizontal shear force so to resist the shear force the best solution is you have to put a shear key or a shear lug so once this is the horizontal force applied to the column the shear key will be activated and the whole shear force will be taken care by this shear key only you don't need to think about the anchor bolt or anything else the anchor bolts are not good for carrying the shear force why because under the shear action they may fail if the diameter is not sufficient not only that also the side of the foundation may break out let's say this is the plan and this is the column if this is the anchor bolt now you are applying a shear force like this so this column or this anchor bolt will try to get away like this so this whole concrete portion may blow out so that is why shear key is the best solution so that's it if you love this video don't forget to share it